This tutorial shows you how to set constraint priorities. I'm looking at a view controller for a contact application, and there are three label text field pairs, first name, middle name, last name. And this particular form works fine. When I rotate it, I'm using Content Assist Preview. When I rotate it, the text fields take up all the available real estate. But I'm not crazy about the jagged left edge of these text fields. So what I want to do is to make the text fields line up of equal size, and I'd like to make the labels also line up in a way that's their right aligned. Now, one quick way to do this would be to make all the labels the same size. But I'm going to offer an example where this is all done in constraints. This is assuming you want to keep the labels um, uh, size to match what their actual text contents are. To emphasize this point, I'm control selecting these items and I'm going to put a background on them to highlight their different lengths. First thing I do is set the width. I control drag down and put an equal width constraint and I control drag down again and put another equal width constraint from the top text box to the middle and from the middle to the bottom. I then command select all of the text fields and I do command alt equals to make them all the same size. That's a bit of a shorthand. It would pay off if you had a lot of uh, fields to do that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add with control drag uh, left drag to the container. I'm going to add another margin to that. Uh, bringing up the constraints panel, I'm going to make an edit to that to be greater than uh, or equal to. We'll satisfy it. Uh, control left drag to the container and make my edit for the sign uh, inequality. And then same thing down below. Okay, next thing to do is for each of those um, previous leading space constraints, I'm going to bounce those down in priority to 250. And I'm now going to organize the different elements on the scale by priority so that when auto layout goes to make a layout, the most important things are kind of set first. Um, you, and you'll notice this looks thoroughly broken. Well, my labels have a content hugging priority of 251. And I want to make sure that my text fields are of a lower priority because it's not important for them to be of a set width. In fact, we'd rather like them to take the full width of the screen if it's available to, to them. So they're all set. So I still have something that looks a little bit um, misaligned. Um, so what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to use the feature to update the frames. So for each of these label frames, I'm going to go ahead and update them. I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, text fields. And that brings the frames in sync with the constraints that have been specified. I think I might have missed one of the, the selections. Remember, they're all, they're all tied together. OK, looks good. No errors. And when I go back to the preview assistant, um, I can rotate it and everything stays aligned. Notice the differing label shapes here. So I'm not trying to just align everything of like size. Uh, and this is something that'll work. Let's say we had a um, uh, you know, iPhone 5 here. We could see the same uh, behavior. Takes up all the space that's available uh, also when it's rotated.